God, oh, God, why, why don't you curse at me, beat me, kick me, and, uh, do something I can understand? What are you going to do to me when you leave me? Uh, how am I going to die? When I reach the top of these stairs, you'll know. When I open the secret panel, it will soon be the door of your tomb. Then you'll have a moment's light. Just enough for a quick, short glimpse around you. Uh, two skeletons beside me. The bones of red and limpy. What else do you see? There's a cage coming over my head. A cage like a rat trap. Oh, I did a rat trap. A rat is in it. I ran it in the cage with me. And soon he'd be crawling over me head and biting. Ah! That's what happened to the other spaces. A rat! No! No, no! Don't leave me in the dark waiting to help us. Guess when that rat's going to start a bite. That's your punishment, Mike. Ah! Oh, goodbye. Ah! Morning and in the morning, too. Oh, yes. Once again. We say hi to Nick the Rat, who brought us the album artwork for episode 841, the summer... What the hell's going on, everybody? Whoa! Well, we're crossing the streams over here. There's streams crossing. Ah! Uh, wow, so, uh, welcome to the, to the show, everybody. I was just walking home from the, the, the factory last week, and this guy grabbed me, and he brought me to this big, weird, cookie-like house, and he threw me inside. Kind of spooky in here. It's a little misty and dark and stuff, but uh, but luckily I got this this, this cell phone and it could re remote into the sewer. So I'm I'm kind of I'm coming to you live from the sewer. It's Nick the Rat Radio episode thirty eight. News coming to you from some house. Then it's being rebroadcasted from the sewer. And then it's going into a satellite, and then it's going through pipes and things, and then it's going into your ears. And then your brain, your brain is figuring in out all this, this stuff, and then, then you're, you're hearing it, I guess. Whoa, what the hell is that? I don't know, this is, it's gonna be, I'm, oh my, where did this guy bring me? He threw me in this box, I was, some guy was in the box, I, I gave him a couple of kisses. He looked scared, so I was giving little kisses on the face, little rat kisses. I don't know. I don't know, maybe, uh... Maybe we'll all make sense of this sooner or later, but, uh, until then, I guess, I guess it's, uh, I guess I'll, st I'll start, I'll start doing the show from this weird, creepy house. Uh, so I, I, I'm Nick the Rat, um, this is the show, uh, it's Wednesday, September 7th, 2016. Uh, it's six o'clock, I started on time, I usually do it at this time if you're... If you're keeping track, that's when this show goes on. But if you're not keeping track, right now it's um, Monday, July 3rd, 2025. So welcome to the future, everybody. That's how that's how it works on the show. You don't know what's going to happen at any given uh, time, time or point in space. I'm scared. This place is kind of scary. Uh, I need to, I need to, uh, get less scared over here. So, let's, let's, let's do what I do. Well, because that's all we can do, because it's just me, I guess. It's, you're not here. You can't, you can't, uh, affect the show, really, maybe. Anyway, I like to listen to music to, to not get scared when I'm feeling paranoid, when I think the government's there watching me. Oh, and I know they're watching me. Oh my god, what is going on down there? It sounds like people are being tortured somewhere. I don't know where I am. This, this crazy place. Uh, here, let's listen to Umpire. Collins Avenue. This should make, this should, uh, uh calm my nerves a little bit. I know what else will calm my nerves. I gotta, I gotta calm my nerves, everybody. Hold on. Give me a second. Uh. 
and brews and herbs here in this house. Let's see what I can find. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for some, uh, some to relax my nerves. This looks promising, people! Some green... Some green liquid! I think I'll... Guzzle some of this over here. So that was Umpire with with Collins Avenue. Collins Avenue, everybody. That's that was pretty good. Uh, ah, I don't. I'm still feeling a little bit weird being here. I don't know. There, I saw, I saw, I saw a couple of people walking around. It's kind of dark. You don't want to ever be home without uh, without knowing where the hell you are. It's kind of scary. But uh. If if you want to know where you are, you could always look for hashtag sewer chat. That's always really uh, it's like a home base. The hashtag sewer chat, it's a that's a home base. Another home base is the hell was that? Uh, another home base is uh, the you could uh, you could talk to me on the phone. You could give me a call right now and maybe t- tell me to relax. You're gonna tell me it's all good and okay, right? Oh. God, I'm so a little scared. Uh, 917-719-59-5923. You could give me a call and leave me a voicemail. Or you could call me live on the show. This guy called up and le- left me a voicemail. I think it's a guy. I don't know. Let's find out and play it now for you. Thank you very much, Mr. Nick Botto. Uh... You're welcome very much, Mr. Colero. Well, I guess, uh, you see, you could even do that and give me a call. and I'll listen to it. That actually made me feel a little, a little bit better about, about stuff and life. I feel pretty good. Um, but, but there's stuff going on in the world today that, that doesn't make me feel good. Listen, listen to this news article from... From NBC News. Oh boy, I'm I'm scared. I gotta find some napkins or something. I'm starting to sweat. I'm getting all sweaty down here in the sewer. Well, 
house, sewer? Two apartment complexes, both on Whitehorse Road, but miles apart. The thing they have in common? 911 calls about clown sightings. Those reports coming from juveniles. Oh my god! Juveniles are using the phone! Oh wait, no, I think it's the... The clown sightings. Maybe the kids are just making this shit up. You ever, th you ever think about that one? They might just be prank calling the police. You gotta have way boys for that, but then again, what are they gonna do? Anyway, let's listen to the rest of this and, and see what goes on with these cre creepy clowns. Ever since then, we've increased our patrols in the area just to make sure that uh, if there are any clowns, that you know we'll address it and handle it accordingly. Uh, but to this day, nothing has been substantiated with any kind of evidence or video surveillance. Right now, there's been zero clown shootings. There's been no clown shootings have been shot. They've been, they're pretty good. They're mysterious clowns. See, that's, that's kind of cool. You would call the cops and tell them something kind of weird that could be true. But you can't say like, oh, there's been leprechaun sightings around the neighborhood. Actually, you probably could. That, that has happened. I've seen it. Uh, you can't say the, you know, but clown. Cloud is normal normal enough to to be taken seriously, I guess. That'd be like. But anyway, let's listen to the rest. The hell? Where am I? Okay, let's listen to this. No photos, no video, no proof. But that hasn't stopped coverage from around the world. BuzzFeed, Huffington Post, even the UK's Daily Telegraph. If someone does see anything suspicious, don't hesitate to call us. But we want to make sure people aren't calling any kind of pho phony uh, allegations or false yeah. claims. You know, you just, see something, just say something. Your attention. But there are more red flags. Film companies have pulled stunts in the past, like the Blair Witch Project, to stir up publicity. Huh. And with Rob Zombie's 31 coming out tomorrow night, the new question: Could those be connected? Because while it may be illegal to make a fake 911 call, there's nothing against the law with uh, dressing up as a clown. Well, there you go, people. I can't get arrested for dressing up like a clown, so stop calling the police on me, okay? You're wasting everybody's time. I like how the, the news was saying that this could be a movie tie-in, like a promotion for the, the movie, but maybe this news article is in itself a promotion for the movie. Huh? Maybe Rob Zombie paid the news company, like, hey, you know, you can see the name of my movie, and then we can just blame it on all these clowns running around. <sighs> well, I'm starting to get really creeped out and paranoid, so you know what that means. We gotta listen to uh, another song. And this one I like, it's called Dertrom, The Dream. I think that's, I think this guy's German. I'm not even, I forget. I, I was listening to it earlier. I liked it. It's by P-O-K-3-R-E, like poker, but with a three. Yeah, uh, the dream. Take, take a listen. Let's, let's relax, people. It's Wednesday. Let's talk hard. Let's find out the truth. Let's, let's, let's listen. This is the ghost of John F. Kennedy Jr. My ghost completely approves of the Nick the Rat podcast. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. Okay. Keep cutting into my stream like that and I'll shoot you again, though.
All right, everybody. Take off your pants. And sit back in your lawn chair. I want you to scratch your armpits and your genitalia and smell your fingers. So relaxing. I'm not scared anymore. I'm not scared anymore. You can't scare me. Nick the Rat. Some, uh, some purple herbs over here in this jar. Let me uh, see what I can do with this here purple herb. Woo. It says hair of rat on it. Whoa. That groovy tune was, uh, well, damn, that wasn't even, that wasn't even the song that I said it was. There's this woman over there just talking to me. That was weird. Uh, I said that was the dream by uh, some weird, uh, some weird version of poker, but that was, that was not that. I'm a horrible DJ. That was Alex Garindo and Stahl moments. I should have known because I uh, I really liked the other song. And that didn't sound like. It. I'm not saying I didn't like that one. All these are hand picked, like this hair of rat in this little jar that I found with this little purple herb. It's got me floating around now. I'm kind of hungry. I'm kind of hungry. Oh, it smells like there's food in the other room. There's definitely some food cooking going on over here. Uh I should play some more voicemail. I got some more of that stuff. There's so many uh, voicemails to be listened to. You could even give me a call live and talk to me right now about spooky places in the, th the forest. Or clowns. Please don't talk about clowns. 917-719-5923. Uh, clowns scare me. Oh my god, is this Nick the Rod? Is this, my name is Juanito. I'm just giving you a call to let you know that coincidences, man. Man, have you ever had a coincidence? One time, I was walking down the street, and I needed money, man, because I needed to buy me a little juice box, a little apple juice box, and I had no money. I'm looking at the floor, I find a $5 bill. I bought one five juice, but you think that there... 
supernatural, perhaps. Juanito out. Bye. I'm a $5 bill and you bought five juice boxes? Sounds like you hit the lottery there, my friend Juanito. Um... I do believe in coincidences it's because I was getting really the um, the hungers after after smoking some of that hair of rat, I guess. I should, was I supposed to smoke it? I didn't see a skull and crossbone on it. There was just a little picture of me, which is kind of weird to see yourself on a jar and you reach in and you roll it up and smoke. Don't, 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 uh, don't smoke yourself. Uh, I don't want to be arrested. All right, people, this is not... This is not, I'm not. I'm not trying to teach you to, how to smoke yourself, and to help you forget about that, uh, I'm gonna play. Why the hell not? Another voicemail. Hey, Nick the Rat. This is Stuart, a uh, long-time listener, first-time caller. Um, so I have kind of a story for you. Um, it's kind of a weird one that happened not too long ago. I was dating this girl, Ellie. Uh, she's a really pretty girl. Blonde hair, long, kind of curly. Striking eyes, man. Did she smell she's, like? uh, she's great. Did she smell good? You know, sex was really good. It's it kind of wild. But that's not the point. Um, things started getting a little freaky. Uh, I don't know. She started doing weird things, and uh, you know, we broke up, and I'm still pretty heartbroken about it, man, but I'm pretty sure that she's a witch. What? Because there'll be times when I'm making breakfast or something, and then suddenly I just I look down at my food or whatever, and then it goes from being rice to... A bunch of maggots in the plate, you know? I mean, I see weird shit, man. I see this weird figure sometimes at the end of the hallway just staring at me. Mm -hmm. And it just keeps saying that it wants to fuck my ass. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? Oh, God. Oh. Oh, that was... uh... That was a heavy one there. That was heavy. Did did the caller leave his name on that call? I don't recall. I gotta hold on one second and play that back really quick. Hey, Nick the Rat. This is Stuart. Stuart, Stuart. I'm sorry, I forgot your name, Stuart. This um, my brain's a little bit scattered out right now, but uh, I got a couple things to say. I got a couple things about to say about that. That's um, hey, that was terrifying. That that voicemail. I was, my heart sunk into or the close to my anus hole area. I just hope the, I don't know, I hope that doesn't, that's not bad. Because that would be bad if that was bad. And second off, Stuart, that's, witches are not real, you, you dumbass. It's just, come on, witches, sure aliens and chupacabra, but witches are not real. All right, I don't know what you're talking about. They're, they're, that's the fakest thing. What you experienced was a vampire. What are you? You're retarded. Oh, but you, you've seen the movie where he's eating the Chinese food and turns into maggots. That's a vampire tactic. Which me not. No, vampire it'd be. I'd still watch it. I'd stick garlic, Stuart. Take cloves of garlic and jam pack them into your asshole and basically just, just clog it up with with garlic my friend that's all that's your only escape all right uh let's play the dream by poker let's see if this works this time i don't even know did i play this whole song i am so lost right now are we in a time warp is this a song or is this just more spookiness no i think this is the dream last song was alex this is Poker. Vampires are real. Witches? Come on, man. Come on.
I uh, I listen to your show a lot, and uh, I think you are possibly obsessed by demon or something. Um, I just wanted to tell you a story. Happened to me about 10 years ago. I was at my family farm in Ohio. Uh, it's really a traumatic story for me, but I'll. Woo! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That was uh, The Dream or Der Trom by Poke, Poker. P O K 3 R E. I feel horrible. I, fu- I fucked that up last time. The other song was by Alex Scrindo. If you want to see any of these things, you just go to my likes on SoundCloud. SoundCloud's got all this uh, free music that you could use in Creative common licenses, and it's amazing stuff. I'm still paranoid that I'm going to go to jail for this one day, but hey, they can't they can't put a rat in jail. They can put him in a cage, but not in a prison. Wow. Uh, I looked in the other room. The ru- the realism in here while that song was going on. That's why I was pretty quiet. I found uh, there was like a big pot of something cooking. It smelled good. I don't know. Uh, and then I, I don't know. That was all. Let's do some more news because, geez, I don't know what the hell's going on in this place. But let's do some news because news makes me feel good, and good is better than being scared. I don't want to be scared. Let's listen to news. From Wochin. CEO of Starbucks, Howard Schultz, has launched a new campaign for the company, wherein he hopes to shed a light on the good in the world. Ah, a giant corporation wanting to share good on the light of the world. This, this, is, this has to be good. This has, this has to be. Among all the bad. CBS News sat down with Schultz on Wednesday to discuss the new campaign entitled Upstanders. Schultz says America won't be fixed by the people in Washington. It will be fixed by everyday people doing extraordinary things for their neighbors. Okay, Uh, so uh, an upstanding citizen campaign, huh? Upstanding. I'll just walk into a Starbucks with a with a boner or something. Be like, "Hey, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm upstanding citizen." Do you, what is it? I don't. This was such a bad. Um, whoa, shit! Come on, man. You can't just say there's a campaign and not describe what it is. Uh, whoa, shit! Let's actually. They're the first on the search. Let's look at this uh, news. We're looking at news on the fly while I'm looking at my phone. I can't believe I have service here. It's pretty crazy. That's the same thing. You know what? I'm not looking for this. We got to find out. We're, I'm going to look into this. I'm going to get deeper into the story. I'm going to find out. What the hell this Upstanders campaign is? Wow. Sounds like some bull- baloney. Some... some <laughs> Voicemail. That, that always comes in handy. Let's listen to... Let's listen to this one. Hello. Hey, hey, Nick, I just want to uh, ask you a question. Some guy came up to me last week, and he uh, gave me these box of these uh, the chocolate ball-looking type things. They're what? chocolatey ball shapes. Um, I think they're made of chocolate. I don't know about taking candy from strangers, especially ones wearing big, strange hats. 
I don't know if I'm going to eat them. They look really good. I, I started to give them out to all of my family, my grandchildren, oh, wow. the people in the neighborhood. Oh, no. I hope, uh, I hope they're good. I say if they eat them, then they're fine. I could eat them too, right? Um, let me know if you think I should uh, partake in putting these chocolate balls inside of my mouth, rolling them around and swallowing them down my throat. What do you think of these, my friend? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll call you next week and let you know if anything happy. You're doomed. You're, you're really doomed. You're going to get, actually, maybe you could save me. Send your family through the, the, make them eat the balls. They'll go to the factory and tell them if they get lost on, in the, on the way home. To, to pick me up from the scary house. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if you are, but I'm definitely, definitely nervous. There's people, there's people here. I just don't really see them. They're like dark shadows. It's, I like that caller. That was weird. What did, like a coincidence. What is going on? I'm, bu I'm bugging out everybody. Uh... Yeah, that can't be good. That can't be good. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what is going to make me feel better here? News about Starbucks? Or... I think music could do the trick. Let's listen to... Uh, uh, breaking a synthetic... Something? A synthetic... Breaking a synthetic heart! By three chain links! Oh, man! They're great! This should be fun! Yeah, motherfucker, I thought I told you one time, I'll tell you 16 times. Stop blasting that monkey bullshit up from the sewer. You trampling my HSD, go down to Mexico. I can't get my slave labor coach made. I can't get my system down there because you trampling my motherfucking signal. I can hear that shit coming up through the... Uh, hashtag, hashtag super chat. We got, we got boat blitz to haze and Leo chill one. Oh man, I think he was abducted. He's gone. Uh, we got uh, Rick the cat. We got Sapphire. We got Borked. We got Bushy Bonton. We got Devo. Mountain Vortex and Sir Matthew. Sir Matthew. I would also go through all hashtag no agenda, but that would take a long time. There's a lot of people in there.
Wow, I got a fax inside of this old spooky house. Actually, it's built into my phone. I got the uh, fax app. I got the uh, fax.matrix app. Uh, it's a really it's an add-on. It makes my cell phone kind of feel like the old school Game Boy. Oh, man. Remember that beast? That big old thing? Now that they got... Wow. And they had all those attachments for it, too. That was crazy. The things you could do with your Game Boy. There's people modding the crap out of that motherfucker. Uh, so this fa- fax came in, and it looks... It looks like it's like a health updates. We got a we got an Amy on the radio health update. I heard I heard something about her going home or moving in somewhere in two days or something. So she should be okay soon. Sounded like she was doing good. And and also it seems like Art Bell is also alive and well. This is this is great news. I sent Keith I sent Keith a tweet. I was like, hey man, is he doing okay? And he's like, he's he's doing okay. Let's see if I got the. Uh, I got the thing over here somewhere, perhaps. No urgent issues at this time. That sounds good to me. So, just want to say the facts came in through my iPhone app attachment. Actually, I don't have an iPhone. I'm a ra- I got a a Ratroid phone over here. Anyway, if you want to call in and talk about uh, some space clowns. Or vampires, or Art Bell, or or uh, any of the topics that we were discussing tonight. Or if you're just uh, you're scared of things, just don't call it about witches, because that's some that's some bull baloney. Witches, this guy's crazy. Um, let's listen to let's listen to some voicemail. If you call nine one seven what nine one seven seven one nine five nine two three. At any point of any day, of, of any second of your life, unless I'm live, you'll get my voicemail. You'll get to hear a super special message. I should update it, actually. It sounds like crap. It's a crappy, it's a crappy message. If you want, just call the number and don't leave a message. Well, hang up after you hear my message, then at least. I might leave a little secret message there one day. Right now, it just kind of sucks. But 917 719 Five nine. What is that? Five nine two three. Let's listen to this. Let's listen to this voicemail right here. I'll open I'll this open, book and blow in the dust from these pages, pages of desire and lust. And I'll search I'll for a spell for perfect, perfect for you. Cause I'm meant to get you enchanted with me too. Oh, 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 come see what I got for you. Come with me, oh Lord, oh Lord. I'll cut you in two. Um, I almost don't even know what the hell that was. Well, that was a message from this dimension, the next dimension, the previous dimension. Oh, man, I keep going on these rants about quant- quantum being not real. Man, I don't like this whole quantum theory at all. It doesn't, it doesn't bode well with me. Wow, it doesn't bode well with the guy in the chamber down somewhere. Somewhere I gotta search his house out some more. But yeah, this whole quantum thing, like people are like, well, you can't see it, man, so you don't understand. And I'm like, well, I can't see it, man, so uh, no. Is that's basically what it comes down. To. I've listened to like Richard Feynman, Feynman, Feynman. He's like one of my heroes, but then he started going all quantum and giving like hippie speeches about it. I didn't like, I didn't, I don't know. Einstein, I think he might have started believing in it before he died, but he thought it was fooey hooey too. But Einstein's theories, like you could see and feel and they're proving them today and they're real. But the quantum stuff, it's just, it's too insane. It's like, ooh, it's here, it's there, it's everywhere. Be like those shadows that I've been seeing. I, um, that's weird. What the hell is th- what is that? All right, I'm starting to get scared again. I'm gonna play another song by POK Three R E because I fucked up. So why not play another one by them? And this is, and the rose said, I don't know. And the rose said, I guess this is the, the name of the song. Is whatever the rose said, possibly. Perhaps. Hashtag Sewer Chat, Nick the Rat Radio.
Wait, you want me to eat what? Where? She's I hear a voice. There's somebody in the kitchen. I think they're they're beckoning beckoning me. Being beckoned. This place is smelling. Alright, well let's uh, I gotta go check. I gotta check this out. Be right back. like a weird punchline some something i'm missing i don't know but that was by pok3re again some good stuff i i dig that i like the three chain links all this, this is good music it's good stuff making me feel real good about that that person that was beckoning me from the other room they said to eat something they want me to eat they keep the, this food everywhere I don't know if I should eat any of this stuff. I'll smoke all their hair. Wait, where did that rat hair go? Wait, here we go. Woo! Ah, oh, hair of rat. My only friend. Um, Let's do some more voicemail. Actually... Wow, that guy is screaming back there, man. Let's not do voicemail. Let's do an advertisement. Or should we call it a fake advertisement? I'm not getting paid for this, so it's not an ad. Not an ad. An ad. Ad. Odd. Aid. Odd. Odd. Let's play this. This is this, this thing that if one day I ever get paid, we'll call it an advertisement. Until then... It's just something to make me not want to die in this creepy place over here. This episode of Nick the Rat is brought to you by the motion picture Blair Witch. That's right, Blair Witch opens September 16th. Man, this movie's fucking crazy, man. Shit, I remember one time... Me and my brother Leroy, right, we were in the projects, and man, shit was fucked up, man. I swear to God, there was a witch inside that fucking apartment building that was screaming and hollering, all kinds of fucking cackling. Man, I'm going to stop taking these advertisements. This is craziness. The, the, a, what a coincidence. B, I, r- witches are not real, gosh darn it, boohoo, uh, I was a, pss- no, there's no, there's vampires, those guys, watch out for vampires, that's why I keep mirrors everywhere, I put mirrors in my pants on the part where he unzip it and the, and there's like a flap, I put a mirror there because if you're if you're like at the bar or something and you 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 might see a vampire in places you don't want to see him. Actually, you'll want to see other things. It's it's good for a lot of reasons. You should definitely just keep mirrors inside of your pants near the zipped up part. 
Male, female. You can go either way. It works for both sexes. Works for rats. I don't know. But, um... Wow, do you guys hear that? Am I going crazy? I think I'm going insane. This is... This place is kind of creepy, but this... Wow, this hair of rat is very, very nice. Um... Let me see. I gotta do some math here. One, two, three, four. Knocking on the front door. And then we got... Wait, we got that. And then we got... Five, six... Seven, eight. I think everything is great. Let's play a voicemail and then do a song. Let's try that. 917-719-5923. It's weird. I started... That's like my real number now. I just, I start, I, when people are like, what's your phone number? I start saying that. But that's not it. I got a secret, secret, super secret phone line. Here's a voicemail. Oh, my God. Is this Nick Rat? Oh, this is an honor to call you. I was, I was thinking about calling you earlier, but I just being followed. What? I hear you paranoid too. Are you paranoid? No. Oh my God! Did you hear that noise? I think the phone line stopped. What? It stopped. I gotta go. If he comes for you, don't tell him that I called. Bye. Uh, I'm not that paranoid. That was weird. All right. I definitely need to hear something good after that. Because that shit was, uh, that guy just fucked it up, Ace. The Big Daddy Kane remix right here. Let's go party, everybody. Woo! Remix by B-O-F-F-O. This is just aggravation. Leading to deprivation. Choking Warm it up, Kane. Respiration. Can't kick it with the flow because it's amputation. I speak clean bars. Sanitation. You carry light bars. Those are bags of paper. Haters burn slow, but I pass the day because I got old school game. Nigga, ask the Sega. And if I ask like a moon, I take it like a chunk. Got a pussy, leave a cooch with a crater. She called the next day. I hit the pooch with a waiver. She into me. She got to get removed with a laser. I'm chilling with some booze and some papers. About to get my California on. Gonna let it brew a savor. Soup with the flavors. They swear that I'm smoking a baton. Or wine, but I'm looking for more like than me. Vision never all no dingy, gotta spit crack till you motherfuckers bitch me. Mix and flows up, case the others try to blend me. Within the halves of ass, they be spitting and they pass a rap. So I switch kick flips and I drop dope shit like a nigga eating heroin. I'm the man, so you're not there to land. As far as the rap field, this is Aaron's land. My shit is calming like a parent's hand. Your flow falling, Niagara fam. Grab a pan, fry your beats and your melancholy melodies. And ash out to the recipe. I was gonna leave it long to cease on its own. But my ego was telling me, fuck it up, face, fuck it up, face, fuck it up, face, fuck it up, face. The asshole on his feet getting butt raped. I rip it and somebody passed me the duct tape. I'm a nutcase, you fucking cupcake. I'm on a nut tape until the clutch break. Taking my time because it ain't need the rush mate. This is the mixtape in case you think it what tape. This is. He's not a 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 He's not a He's not a He's not a In the marathon, chasing my dream life, so I go hard like I ever had a green light. Don't know about it, but I want it because it seems like my career's in a depressed stage and need hype. I'm stacking money to that shit instead of street hype. My will tell me never stop because I believe might and not might in the sense of probably. Besides this beat, what the fuck is stopping me? I broke this shit off properly. Try to fix it, but a cast won't get it. Shout out to Big Daddy Kane, the first who ever did it. This is old school shit. Can't you hear through the lyrics? I press rewind because y'all niggas can play with it. At the mic is a casualty whenever Ace visit. Flow sounds sweet, but it takes Vicious. Style born like it came from Great Britain. <laughs> Cheers, Mike. To the loo. To the loo. Slow down. Slow down. Smoke some weed. Nick the Rat Radio. Oh, wow. That was, uh, that was an awesome throwback. That makes me feel good. I like that one. Oof. Wait, I totally did the math wrong. I forgot about five, six, seven, and eight. You wanna hear something scary? Let's listen to this. 
Norway's environmental directorate reported on August 28th that 323 reindeer were killed by a lightning strike on the All right, there's pictures of this. They were killed by a lightning strike. 300 plus. 300 plus of them. There's pictures, my friend. All right. Uh, what If a lightning strike killed these these poor poor deers wouldn't the floor be like burnt up or something, some sort of mark of, of the fucking lightning blast? Also, the radius is ginormous. Unless this was like the most ungodly thing that nobody's ever seen before in their life. This is definitely government death ray testing right here, my friends. This is, this is not right. There's no way this, there's pictures. I gotta post this on sewer chat. The mountain plateau the of Harda Navida on Friday, August 26th. The agency also said that five deer. There's a picture of two deers eating ass right here. I gotta take. Well, this is crazy. This is definitely a screenshot. I'll post this and the other ones in a second. Hold on. Let's play. Let's play. Deer had to be euthanized. In a press release published Sunday, it was said that 70 of the deer were calves. Officials believe that the animals were killed by lightning during a heavy thunderstorm, marking what could be the deadliest lightning strike in history. And it would be deadly. All right, I got the they got the picture of the full screen. Let me get a clip of that. And, oh man, I'm posting this right now. But hashtag Chew Chat on Chew Chat Chew Chew Chat. Look at this. Look at this craziness. I gotta like zoom in and check it out some more. All right, so I think that might have been the end of the clip. Let's uh, let's see. An agency spokesman has said, it's not uncommon for reindeer or other wildlife to be killed by lightning strikes, but we have never seen such numbers before. Thousands of reindeer normally migrate across the barren land as the seasons change. Yeah, they might, but sewer chat this picture right here. Uh, one second. Ah, uh, that's creepy. Hold on. Oh man, I don't know where I am right now. Okay, I know where I am. I'm on my phone. It's hard to post like all this crazy. It's uh, run a show from your phone. Uh, poor ass eater. That's that's that one right there. Poor ass eater on the sewer chat. Check that picture out just for the the lulls. But then check this one out for the. Oh my God! No way did lightning just do that. Oh my God! No way did the lightning. Just do that. Hashtag government cover up. All right. That took a while to type that hashtag and tweet. And I spelled, oh my God, wrong one. But anyway, look at that and see if you see anything that's suspicious. I'm scared. I'm more scared of lightning than witches now. That's for shit sure. Fuck. And it took all of them out. People get hit directly by lightning. They get right in their heads. I think they still live. But these, all those people get charred up and burnt. These are not charred up or burnt deer. (sighs) Christmas is going to suck this year. That's all I'm saying. All these reindeer are fucking burnt up right out of their face holes. Sucks. Um, Hashtag chew chat. Chew chew it. When you drink all of this witch's brew. Wait, what, the, what did I just say? Witch's brew? Is that what it says on this? Witch's brew. Oh my god! There's so many coincidences going on. But vampires are definitely real. Uh, and so is this song by Alan Walker. Spectre! Enjoy! Dick the Rat! Hey, Rat Man. This is Brandon from Arkansas, man. I just wanted to call you and, and say what's up, man. I listen to the radio show, man. Talking about smoking weed and all that shit, man. Woo! All right, man. Howdy, man. Shit, man. I li- I'll, I'll share something with you, man. Check this out. 
All right, man. Me and my wife, remember her? We're gone. We get some teeth and shit. Man, we laying down and shit. And, you know, she wanted to touch my balls and all that. And I'm like, yeah, you know, go for it and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But, like, all of a sudden, yeah, it's just a fucking right? And I'm just kind of like, dang, you know, what's going on? I'm just fucking like, dang, what's going on? I'm just fucking like, dang, Turning upside down right now. And I hope your world is not. I hope it's. I hope your world is uh, flat. You know, who wants to be on a ball? Falls off of that. a boat about alternate dimensions and vampires you could do that too hashtag sewer chat nick the rack place this place is it's kind of scary but I I am gonna go in that kitchen and see what's going on in there because that's good that's gonna be awesome in the kitchen um from the kitchen though we could listen to voicemail 917-719-592 all right now that you've all been programmed uh, you've all been programmed to kill the president when you hear the song uh, Dark Horse by Kat- Katy Perry. That's what that thing just did. Once you hear that song, you're going to be programmed to go uh, Manchurian candidate out with uh, the president. Uh, also, that reminds me that you you need to know more news. Because if you don't know the news, then... You don't know what's good for you. Watch it! Watch it! On their first day back from summer recess, the U.S. Senate were only eight votes short of agreeing to give $1.1 billion... $1.1 billion! Holy... That's the... That's the money. That's the, uh... Where's the money? Well, now we know. It's, it's, it's seven closest... 
Seven votes away from getting put into the Zika's... Zika... Just into the Zika area. And then the government got their hands on it again. So they're spraying. They're spraying a lot down in Florida because five people got the Zika. So they got to spray. And they got to kill. What are they spraying? It sounds like they're probably spraying, spraying like an insecticide. Where are they spraying it? They're spraying it everywhere! Oh, God. I hope they don't start spraying in the sewer. They already did that to me once and it sucked. I gotta get back to the sewer soon. Sewer soon. I think I'm getting a lisp. All this... What is going on with this sewer soon stuff? Let's listen to the rest of... Clip. The, the clip is, uh... It's gonna inform you a little bit more about what's going on. ...dollars toward a bill to help fight the Zika virus. A lack of funding has limited the ways in which officials can kill the mosquitoes that carry the virus. To make matters worse, the CDC announced that they are almost out of the funds allocated to fight the Zika virus. With the number of Zika cases increasing almost every day, Congress hopes to be able to pass the bill by the end of the month. In hopes of eradicating the mosquitoes present, Miami-Dade County has... Hope they eradicate everything else? Oh man, I heard, I heard that they're killing the bees. I heard that that spray. The bees don't like that shit. They don't like to stick their fingers into flowers that have that spray on it. Or maybe it kills them. I don't know, but there's a, there's a correlation. And guess what? I'll live with seven people getting Zika and then having big-headed babies. Over, or small-headed babies, or dot-shaped baby. I don't know. Either way, but I want my honey. Honey is important. The bees are important. The flowers. They're so important that we... We have to stop this slaughter of flowers. Why are women such barbarians? I'm sorry I gotta go on this tangent, but... Women love flowers. Why? It's just death. You're killing the food for the beast to make the honey that we steal and put into the bears so they don't eat us. That's why we got honey, right? So the bears don't eat humans? Well, I heard this this spraying for the mosquitoes is killing kill them. The bears are going to get us. ...has begun to use a controversial pesticide that has been banned in the European Union. Wait, they've been using... Wait, wait. ...a controversial oh, hold on, hold on. Uh, hold on. Congress hopes to be able to pass the bill by the end of the month. In hopes of eradicating the mosquitoes present, Miami-Dade County has begun to use a controversial pesticide that has been banned in the European Union. Why? Well, that means Britain could still use this fucking good shit, so... Now it's the 7 o'clock hour in Brooklyn. In the forests of Brooklyn. Oh, it's so dark and damp in here. Really stinky. Smells like cheese, which I love. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check out what is in the kitchen. Oh my god, that is so creepy. What is going on here? I gotta find out what's in the kitchen before I I get the nerve. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play a voicemail. I'm gonna play a voicemail right here. This is, this is gonna. Hey. You know what? Yeah, we're going to listen to this voicemail. Then I'm going to go into the kitchen. I'm going to find out what's going on in there. I'm going to find out. Brett, man, this is Kyle from Seattle. Hey, Kyle! Um, uh, look, man, uh, I don't know what's going on. I've been, like, stuck in the woods, and uh, I hear you lots of laughing out here. And, uh, I lost my weed. What? So I, I I'm kind of scared, man. Yeah. Um, we just good. I'm a real panicked, man. I kind of need my weed, and uh, no, I, hear, I, I don't hear know you. what the fuck to do. And you're the only one I can call, sir. man. If uh, you can help me, uh, or even like get Rainer or somebody to come get me, man, because like I don't, I don't want to do this anymore, man. Uh, I'm so scared, what are you man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, man. I think Kyle might have a vampire problem. Kyle, Kyle, if you could hear me, I don't know how, 
I don't know how you're still alive, but... But Kyle, listen. I want you to look around the house and see if you could find any... Any garlic. Okay, so Kyle, just get this garlic and stick it really deep into your ass. I want you to at least go like three feet inside there. Start packing the guy, the garlic in. This is this is a life or death. Death or life. I'm going into the kitchen. And I'm going to listen to I'm Bad For You. Can't hurry, love. It's a remix by I'm Bad. You're bad. I don't know what the hell this is. I don't know. But I'm going into the kitchen. Justin, we got a blitz news with the numbers report. Six people died of West Nile last year. Oh my god, it's an epidemic. We gotta kill everything. We gotta murder, murder all the bees, all the bugs. We gotta kill the bugs. We gotta kill the zika. Fuck them. Let's nuke them! Let's nuke all of them! Take the ride! Hey, hey, Nick, this is Gary Garland. Alright, look. Now, I know we've been giving you a hard time coming in to the grocery store. Look, we can't have rodents running around this place. If you don't stop coming in here, I'll be forced to break the 20th thing. Plus, 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 88 euros. I was just before 
December 20th mark for that song. Smoke for that, right? You gotta always smoke for that. Except bills through Congress, which they are constantly... It's weird. Isn't it like when you do something and you repeat lead doing it and you get the same result, which is them voting for it and getting no... Isn't that considered insanity? So our government is basically insane. All governments are until they get the answer they want. They're like a crazy boyfriend, like an ex-boyfriend. I could have said ex-girlfriend. It works either way. But either way, our government is just like a crazy ex ex-friend. There you go. They're like, hey. Wow. So anyway, I'm in the kitchen and I don't I think she was just making like a little pot for me to crawl in. It looks like a little hot bath. A little hot tub. So let's go over here and check out this hot tub. Ooh. Alright, let me get this. Uh, so ooh, it's warm. It's nice. So guys, oh man. So this has been like the uh, the Nick the Rat show. I hope you had a good time. I hope uh, I hope you're less paranoid about life because we're all gonna die. We're in this freaking pot together, everybody. We're in the pot together. It's true. I'm in it. You're in it right now. Whoa! The things are kicking. The flavonoids of the pot are kicking in. So. What did we learn this week? We learned everything about creepy clowns in Canada. I'm sure there's creepy clowns in Canada. We might have learned about that. We learned about Starbucks promoting upstanding citizens. So please go into your Starbucks erect and ask for your prize. We learned that there were deer that were killed. Tons of deer using a... Uh, a Tesla thing. Uh, maybe human man-made weapons because there was no burn marks. Hashtag zero chat. What else did we learn? We learned Zika is killing the bees because humans are stupid. And finally, what we learned is that I got a phone line. It's 917-719-5923. Let's listen to, I think, the last voicemail. Give a call in if you want to talk about any of the previous topics. I'm down to say hi. Let's listen to what our caller has. Oh, man. I just shit my hands. I better take a shower or the wash. I gotta wash this, sh this shit off my my legs. What the hell oh, is man, this? This shit's everywhere. Oh, oh, that was that was liquidy on my hands. Oh god, oh god, I've got all this shit in my hair. What? There's shit in my hair now. Oh, I better. Oh. oh my god that sounded like that man died I might have to trace that that call so I could save that guy's life that's not good that sounded like he hurt himself oh man let's um wow I gotta I'm feeling weird weird Kyle did I just hear Kyle? I miss Kyle. Seattle was awesome. Seattle was, it was fun. There was that weird mega mall where people smoke weed in staircases. I think we need to listen to, uh, like one more. One more voicemail, everybody, because apparently you don't want to call in live. Apparently this last caller is chicken. Whoa! It's a big chicken! You need my soul! What?
episode 38.
Oh yeah! This is weird. I'm looking at the uh, cameras to the back of the ship and Kyle is crying. He's crying. He's holding like a limp, limber, dead rodent on his lap. What the hell? Kerrigan! Kerrigan, where'd you go? Wait, can you go back? I'm trying to fly this ship. They're shooting their lasers from the back of the moon at me. Yes, the Jews, they're doing it again. Kerrigan, you fear me up. I gotta fly out of here real quick. I think he might be dead. He's He's got a baby anyway. I won't let him die. He might be back. He might be back next week. We don't know. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't be. Maybe season two will come out next week. Maybe. Maybe three. Maybe four. I don't know. Season six. Eight, nine, ten. I can't wait for this. <laughs> 69 for you, Kerrigan! I'm going to bend your alien ass over the bed. Where am I? Kyle? Kyle, is that you?